Spondoful! Well, I'm listening to Gavin Creel. Two cents. I mean, he's like, maybe my favorite male Broadway voice in existence. Okay, it's vlog five. And what can I say? Um, there's a lot of stuff backstage. I was only out at a couple of little things and did that quick. A little event with Cheetah Rivera. And then a quick little Tony's event. But everything else is backstage stuff. I said I wanted to... Bring you a little bit more into the theater and meet some more people and do some costume changes and stuff like that and be stupid backstage and more more hijinks with Brandon Uranowitz. Um, and that's it. So let's get started. Let's just get right to it. And I'll see you at the end. Vlog five. It's wonderful. <laughs> Come on, I'm at a party for Cheetah Rivera, celebrating Cheetah Rivera on Broadway with all these gypsies from all the other shows. On the top of the Strand, the Empire State Building in the background. It's pretty amazing. Just got to meet and hang out with Cheetah Rivera. Awesome. Hey guys, what's up? I'm just checking in quickly. Two reasons. First, this curl is nailing it today. I just wanted you to see it. And the second is, someone sent me a question. I thought it was a really good one. Carl Cavalier asked me who's been in this dressing room before. And, you know, I was, I'm going to do Q&A stuff. But I figured rather than, like, stop and do a Q&A, I'm just going to, like, here and there, grab a good question. Anyway, I thought this was a good question. And I know that in my dressing room, other than me, was Nick Adams in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I know that Bryn O'Malley was here during Annie. Orfe was here during Legally Blonde, and Karen Olivo was here during West Side Story. That's all I know. So I'm gonna try to find out a little more. If anyone has any information about Dressing Room 10 on the fourth floor up the elevator, let me know. Tweet at me at Maxi's Pad and let me know. But I'll try to find out more. I thought that was kind of interesting, so. A little history of the theater. Nailing it. I'm trying to take a nap. <laughs> what are you doing? So these are brand new shoes, and so I don't sound like an elephant on stage. I have to bash them first. What's like, inside? Just super it's like solid? A paper mache type thing. So when you sweat in them, it kind of absorbs oh. the sweat and makes oh them soft. God, they're hard as a rock. And I go through about three or four pairs a week. This is what you have to go through before. So you sound, so they don't try and not make a noise at all on stage. So. Um, yeah. That's but so it just means cool. I annoy everyone else in the building for hours. That's alright, I'm not really napping. <laughs> Have a good act too. You too. Here we are at another event. Brandon nailing the red carpet. Doing my vlog. Here we are celebrating another Tony's event for the Creative Arts nominees at the Hudson Terrace. You can spy all these fancy people in the room. That tall guy is Tommy Toon. I'm gonna hijack like I love to do. Hey Max, yeah, woo! Work it! Work! 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 Okay, bye. Hey Leanne and Chu. Hello. What's going on? Hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> we got a tweet from Nick. Erasmussen. He was wondering if you guys had any like pre-show rituals that you like to do. The first thing I do when I get to my dressing room is put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. And the first thing I do <laughs> is I march directly into this room and plop myself down on that couch. Oh, oh you normally have tea and biscuits. There's like a empty packet of biscuits. <laughs> I'll get like a special shot of this and we'll just like, go right there, into there. it. You guys do this like every show? Pretty much. Yeah, Pretty much. we do. Aww. We have a little gossip, and then Midge and Ashley come in, and we all gossip together. And oh, yeah. I love it. Your room's looking amazing too. Thanks. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, do you know she's what else moved I in. do? What? Do you want to know what else I do? Yeah, of course. So, I don't want to know if Nick does, though. In every show, when there's a fight, <laughs> there's a thing called fight call, which happens uh -huh. at 7:25. Oh, no. Uh huh. Which and I so have to do every night. Max has to run upstairs and do fight call. And so as soon as they say, 
Uh, fight call, ladies and gentlemen. And I hear the elevator door go, so I know he's done something. Sneak up. Because <laughs> Max and keeps buckets full of M&M's. You steal my M&M's. There you have it, everyone. She steals my candy after she steals Leanne's biscuit. <laughs> That's Milo chill the, pace. Milo the <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Have a great show. Thanks. thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Nick. <laughs> Supporting characters meeting commence. Jill Pace, Perone's mistress. Oh. Um. Okay. Brandon Uranowitz, Uh. Rumple teaser. Max von Essen. B Barnaby. <laughs> we do this every show. We have a supporting characters meeting. And we come up with a new supporting character, so look for <laughs> look forward to more installments. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the coolest things we get to watch on this monitor. And it's like the above view of the stage. So you kind of get to see like all the patterns. You get to see them on stage. Hey, I'm vlogging. Hey. That's them on stage. And this is them like from above. Robbie's on the floor. She runs off. <gasps> he starts crawling around on the floor. You see his shadows. He's dancing with his shadow. It's so cool. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> this is part where Rebecca gets her breasts ready for the final part. For the ball. This is my Beaux Arts. <laughs> yes, Shannon. Oh shit, I gotta get up there. Alright, I gotta go. Alright, we're at our Tony's scratch tape rehearsal. Can't show you. Robbie wants to say hey. <laughs> These are all the wow. Tonys, the Tonys team, just a few people, producers. We're gonna run our Tonys number for them a couple times. Once again, I can't show you. Sorry. That's what we're doing. See you on June 7th. When love comes in and takes you for a spin, ooh la la la, c'est magnifique. Getting my French on, c'est magnifique. It's wonderful, c'est magnifique. I am getting in the mood for my show tonight, just checking in, because, look, the hot list. I know you all love Darren Chris. Out Magazine right now, fresh, hot on the newsstands. There is also a little page from your vlogger, Max Von Essen, on the hot list for Out Magazine Spring Summer. Um, so I'm just checking in to tell you about it. Super honored and super excited to be on it. So go get one if you want it. I mean, I, if you don't like me, I know you like Darren Chris and this guy from Game of Thrones or something. Um, anyway, that's it. This is Brandon's, we've been talking about rituals. This is his intermission. This is my mid-show <laughs> ritual. Mid -show ritual. <clears throat> like protects the voice and the, the nasal passages. Um, I saw Celine doing this once and I always strive to be like Celine. So. <laughs> That's his secret, everyone. That's his secret. That's my secret. Supporting, Supporting characters, characters meeting commence! Brandon Uranowitz, you talk. Jill Pace, Rizzo. Oh! Max von Essen, Sally Durant. Follies. <laughs> oh good, so we did three different yeah, yeah, three different shows. Follies. Thank you. We'll see you at the next we'll see you at the next Thanks meeting. Thanks for joining us, thank you. <laughs> Alright. This wonderful is over. Time for Val de Beaux Arts. While Jill does Shall We Dance. Shall we dance? And walk on <laughs> oh, you are Shall we give it? This is where I get ready for or shall we dance with never a care? Do you, you want to meet Picasso? Growing older, Sartre. You better dance with the lady. Dance, little man. Camp, you're on my butt. Dance with the She just made appearance. Oh. You want this old world on a string? Put on your dancing shoes. Stop wasting time. I can't see our feet. Oh. Put on your dancing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still getting ready. I mean, how much fun do we have here? Some people regret it all year. It's fabulous. Life is short. We're growing older. And scene change. I'm like literally exhausted now.
Hey you guys, check this out. So we just got a delivery here from Jesse Tyler Ferguson. He sent me and Robbie and Brandon and Chris Wielden and Leanne Cope. Look, the Tony Award bow tie they made for this year. This is so beautiful. And we are all gonna wear it at some point and talk about it. It's his from his company. Um, tie the knot and he donates all the money all the proceeds from it are for LGBT equality and gay marriage and all this amazing stuff They've already raised like over a half a million dollars I think and donated to different causes and he just sent us all of us who got a nomination this year The Tony Awards bow tie, which is amazing. So we can't wait to wear it Look out for it. This is Sar Sarah's Saturday night ritual, which she usually does completely naked apparently, <laughs> but we're adjusting it for the viewing audience. It's been done for years in many Broadway shows. Here it comes. Okay. It's I'm legendary. Five, seven, Here it comes. Yay! <laughs> Vianne wants leaps. It's not part of the dance, Vianne. It's, it's a very complicated dance. dance. <laughs> oh my god. Usually it's I a very it. complicated dance. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? It's me. Another week has gone by. Vlog 5. I'm in Times Square. It is a gorgeous day. I figured you should see this gorgeous day a little bit. After seeing what we just witnessed in the dressing room with Sarah Strimmel. Whew, I don't know about you, but I need to clear my palate. Anyway, it is gorgeous. I'm heading in for the final show. Look at Times Square. The disgusting beauty of Times Square. All these people getting ready to see shows. American in Paris. I will see you next week for vlog 6. That's six in French. A lot of cool stuff coming up next week actually. Some more activities outside the theater. And I hope you guys get a taste of more things that happen inside the theater, how ridiculous we are. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go to the theater now. I hope you're all enjoying this day. I'll be inside, but then I'll enjoy it a little bit. Yes. See you guys next week.